Undersea cables are extremely important to the entire infrastructure of the world. They are the communications um, of the world. A lot of people have the misconception that international traffic is satellite and, and goes through satellite services, but that's not the case. We're fairly lucky because we tend to um, protect the, our cables, so we don't have that many cable failures. The most common cable failure is due to fishing vessels often. So when we have a cable repair, we typically don't see, the customers don't see any impact at all. The network switches within a couple hundred milliseconds to an alternate path, so the customers don't even know that we're out there making that repair. We sailed offshore um, in, in, on the cable ship, launched the RV, uh, located the repeater, we pulled the cable up out of the seabed, used the ROV uh, with its manipulator arms to cut the cable. We then used a specialized grapnel called a grab and hold grapnel. And we grabbed the cable and brought it up to the cable ship, uh, prepared the ends, tested, spliced in a new repeater, laid the repeater over the side, used the ROV to retrobury or bury that cable, that repeater and cable section back into the seabed. Um, and then we went home. We have a, a whole crew of operations, starting with the cable station staff, who are instrumental in working directly with the ship. We have skilled technicians who are able to use some sophisticated fault location um, equipment that allows them to predict and estimate and map out where the cable has failed out in the ocean. Our station staff then work hand in hand with the folks, the captain and the engineer on the ship to ensure that uh, operations are carried out safely. The first unique thing about this particular uh, uh, cable repair was the challenging fault location. Number two was weather. We had some pretty bad weather. Uh, we experienced a force nine gale, uh, 50 knot winds, 13 foot seas. So um, we could not work under those conditions. So um, that slowed us down a little bit. Uh, life on the ship is pretty regimented. Uh, the cable ship works uh, around the clock, uh, seven by 24 through the night, th through workable weather. We take care of a really special and critical part of AT&T's network. It's like air. You don't think about it till it's not there.